Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be doing my August Shop My Stash and Everyday Makeup Basket. This month it's going to be a little bit different, because what I'm actually going to do is film this intro, get everything out of my basket into my collection, and then I'm going to film my full declutter series. I'm going to go through and declutter my entire makeup collection today, and then I'm not going to go back and shop my stash until the declutter is done. So there could be as much as like a full day in between this intro and the rest of the video. And if you have a very keen eye, you might be able to see some spoilers for my upcoming declutter. But I don't think anyone's paying that close attention. <laughs> As you can see, the basket is a mess, um, so I have a bunch of new products. Honestly, the only things I'm going to be keeping, because typically for an every other Shop My Stash video, I would carry over a decent amount of products, but today, the only products I'm going to keep in here are the ones that are like literally brand new. The rest is going to go back into my collection for the declutter. So let's start up here. Um, the mascaras, since these are already open mascaras, I'm going to leave them there. I do have one update though. This Kush mascara, ooh, I saw I saw a dog hair and I thought it was a spider. It's, we're good, we're okay. <laughs> so this Kush mascara was sent to me in PR through Influencer, and I have to say it's my first time using a full size of the Milk Makeup Kush mascara. I've had a couple of samples and I liked them but didn't think it was worth the full size price. So I am curious to see if this is any different because I have been duped before by samples. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to go ahead and move out all of my brow gels, my glitter glues, and my mixing mediums. I'm also going to move back all of these eyeliners. My eyeliners desperately need to be decluttered. <laughs> so these lipsticks I'm actually going to leave here because these are all brand new that I bought specifically for the best and worst of black lipsticks video that I'm planning. So I know I'm not going to get rid of those. But um, these two products I'm going to move back in for the declutter. This is my Melt Lipstick in Golden and my Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu in Nudie Patootie. Okay, so the rest of the stuff up here. I finally picked up some of the putty blushes and bronzers from e.l.f. So I'm going to keep that in here since I literally just bought them yesterday. Um, I was also sent these in PR through Shop Miss A. This is their new eyeshadow trios. And I'm going to be testing them out and doing a video along with these quads that they recently came out with. So these are also going to stay. Along with the um, Hold My Brow Brow Soap, I think I'm going to put that up here where the brow products were because I also want to test that and I did just get that in PR. Some other products I just got in PR, the ABH Norvina palette from Influencer. I have that and also a pair of lashes. So these are both going to get put in one of the drawers. Speaking of the drawers, let's go ahead and get into those. All right, so drawer number one. I think just about everything is going to get put back. Yeah, so let's move all of these foundations out. All right, so these two are actually brand new. I just bought them, the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer and the Milani. So I'll leave those. Everything else is going to go back. Oh, I lied. I'm going to leave this The Rock because I've already cut it open. It's an eye primer. I just want to finish this up so that can also just stay because I'm not going to declutter it at this point. That's everything for drawer number one. For drawer number two... I'm gonna move everything out except for my pan that palette. So let's take the brow products, these cream shadows, the soft glam palette, the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, and we're gonna leave that here. Let's go ahead and move in. Oh, it's too big. We'll put the pan that palette ooh, on top. Lashes we'll save for another one, and let's no, those are in the next one. Okay, I think we'll leave those there for now. For the next drawer, these face palettes are going to get moved back into my collection for the declutter, along with this highlight and this blush from Pixie. Uh, I think I'm going to move the Shop Miss A eyeshadows. Yep, right down there. And then here, I'm also going to add the e.l.f. products and the ABH Norvina lashes. In the last drawer, I have just one loose powder, which is the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder. I'm gonna leave that in here because I think I only have one other loose powder in my collection. I've got my little poof poofs. And then these are all products from my Petty Project Pan. So the completed ones are back here. And then let me try to shove that into a corner. The completed project products are over here and then the ones in progress are still over here. I'm not gonna declutter those because I'm actively panning them. So I think everything in this drawer is gonna stay. All right, and we've cleaned everything out. I'm going to put all this back into my collection, film all of my declutters, and then we'll be back to shop my newly decluttered stash. 
All right, it's the next day. I spent the whole yesterday like filming most of my declutter. I decluttered everything except for eyeshadow palettes. I filmed for five hours. I did not have time to film the eyeshadow palette, so that's gonna get done later this week. So we're gonna go through everything except for eyeshadow palettes. Really, I already have so many in my everyday makeup basket. I think I'll pick one like or two max, um, and so we won't have to go into the actual drawers for that. I'll just pick them and then show you guys in the basket. So. Let's move into our regular Shop My Stash. So we have primers and setting sprays. Um, I was just at a MAC earlier today. I should have picked up a new Fix Plus, but um, I just leave setting sprays here because it's right here to my left in my vanity, so I just grab them whenever I need them. For primer, I really want to use the sample. Um, this is the Guerlain Lore, Lore <laughs> primer. I want to finish the sample up. It probably has about two uses in it. And then I really wanted to bring in my newest putty primer. This is the Acne Fighting Putty Primer from e.l.f. It's the green one, and I just picked this up. Um, so I'm excited to finally try this out. Soothing, hydrate, and then I think, you know, I think that's good for primer. I think we're good there. So let's move on to the next drawer. Alrighty, so we have bronzers, we have blushes. Hmm, I kind of want, I want a cream blush. Let's see, let's see, should I do? I kinda wanna bring this Kaja Bento box out. It's really cute. And these are some really nice shades. So I'm gonna bring this out for blush. And let's see, do I want a powder blush? Or do I wanna do a face palette? Hmm, I'll probably pull a face palette. Yeah, so okay, so face palette, and then on top of that, do I want, you know, I don't think I've really brought in the blushes that were gifted to me. So my good friend Bougie Bree sent me these two blushes from Tarte, and I think I want to use those. So I'll bring this in. And then for bronzer, so I have all of these bronzers here. Hmm. Do I want to use one of these? I'm probably going to pull a face palette, you know? So I don't think I need to... Oh, and I'm, I'm panning a bronzer, too. Yeah, so I think we're good here because I'm panning a bronzer and I think I'm going to pull a face palette. For highlighters, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What am I feeling? Give me summer. Give me bright... I'm also panning a highlighter. So I really should only pick, like, one and maybe like a small one or a diff mm. okay you know what I still have my here I still have this from uh, my petty project pan I did pan the entire highlighter so slight spoiler alert there but you know what I like that I got use out of an individual highlighter so I kind of want to pull out because I have a bunch in here that I really don't touch. I've got these single highlighters. I kind of want to pull out one of these. So I'm thinking the one that's been in my collection, I think the longest out of all of these, is the Balm's Mary Luminizer is this one. So I think I'm going to pull that one out and see how much use I can get out of that this month. And honestly, like this is a face palette right here. <sighs> yes. All right. I think this is it. I'm going to use this. Here we go. <laughs> because, so I've got a black eyeshadow right here honestly I forgot what brand it was by now but it is a black eyeshadow this is a bronzer who from who knows where this is the bronzer this is the uh, Kevin Aquan bronzer I thought I used it already but this is the contour match to the highlighter that I just panned and then I got a highlighter right here I've got everything right here I might pull out one more face palette for funsies but really I want to get use out of these that's a good idea yes let's do that we'll put the palette back all right, and then the next drawer down is lashes. Uh, I don't want to pull out any particular lashes. I'll just reach in for specific looks. And then the bottom drawer is eyeshadow palettes, which I'm going to go through later. So let's flip over to the foundation side. All right, here we've got foundations, concealers, powders. For face powder, I've got my loose powder in there already. Um, and I do have pan in the stay matte. So I want to use this also because this is... I can use this year round, but this does work best for me in the summer. So we're gonna bring that. And then I'm gonna bring in this All About MAC Fixing Compact in as well to start getting some use out of that because I don't wanna be using this in the fall or winter either. For foundation. So I've got some that I kinda wanna finish up. 
specifically these two. So this Maybelline Fit Me I know really only works for me in the summer and I want to finish it. So I'm going to finish that. And also this Milk Makeup one, it's almost done. I kind of want to finish it up and then maybe just get rid of the cartridge, recycle it, and then just keep the packaging because you can buy just the refill of this. And maybe I'll just save the actual packaging somewhere. So if I actually want to go out and buy this foundation again, I just have to buy the refill. So I think I'm going to do that. And I think I can finish this fairly quickly if I just use it for like a week or two. So I will bring that in. And then I did just get a new foundation. This is the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. I've heard amazing things about this and I want to test it out. So I will bring, oh, dropped it. I will bring that in. And then for concealer, let's see. It is still summer. So I do want to finish up my like summer concealers. Let's see, I have a backup of this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, so let me use that one because I want to finish that up. And then maybe I'll bring in a different one. Let's use the Pat McGrath. Let's use the Bougie. So I'm going to bring in my Pat McGrath Sublime Concealer as well. All right, we got foundations. We got, we already have loose powder. We got pressed powder. We got concealer. All right, we're good for this drawer. This drawer looks so much nicer, doesn't it? This is my eyeliner, newly brow center, single shadow, liquid shadow center. Um, so let's see. I already have an eyeshadow base, eyeshadow primer that I want to finish. Um, I do want to bring this back out for brows. This is my color tattoo. <laughs> As for my glitter glues and brow gels, I think... Did I get a brow gel that I wanted to test out? Oh, I have the brow soap. Yeah, let me try that. So since I have that Shop Masse brow soap that I want to test out, I'm not going to bring out a brow gel, but I will bring out my um, NYX Glitter Glue because I do love this. And... Alright, so that's there. Let's see, what eyeliners do I want to use? I'm feeling a white liner. Let's, let's use one of these NYX ones, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Let's do Milk and Cottage Cheese. Cottage Cheese is like the shimmery version and Milk is just the matte version. So I got some eye, white eyeliner and then let's, hmm, let's do white and brown. Let's bring in this Sephora Mini. I don't think I've really used this one yet so let's do that. As for the rest of, actually, I should probably bring out some of these liners that I got in PR. I have not tested out yet, so, well, let's bring out this one. Oops, and I just dropped it. The white liner, I'm going to pick up and bring that one in. We have green, we have yellow, we have pink. Let's try green and blue. Yeah, so we'll bring those, we'll leave these. All right, and I think we're good for this drawer. All right, for lipsticks, I have the black lipsticks that I want to test out, and I am panning a bullet lipstick. So you know what? I kind of want to bring in some other bullets to mix with that bullet because I want to get creative. I want to do some mixing. So I think that's probably going to work better with like the bullets I have over here. So let's see. I'm bringing this MAC one. This is in Flesh Pot. And then let's do Bikini Bottom, right? Yeah, Bikini Bottom from the ColourPop and Sophia Nygaard collection. And then other than that, I think we are good here. Let's move on to face palettes. Okay, so face palettes. What have I not like reached for recently? Probably the butter box, but do I really want to bring out the full butter box when I'm, I don't want to bring out the butter box when I'm panning something. Butter box. Why does that sound so funny? Butter box. You know what, let's bring out the Smashbox Ablaze face palette. It's still summer. I feel like I could still get some use out of this. It's pretty. And you know what, part of me wants to recreate my review video because my review video that I did back in the day was so trash. It was actually terrible. <laughs> so um, yeah, well, I don't know. I've got, I'm pre-filming a lot, so I don't know if I'll have time soon, but I know it probably won't get many views. It's an old palette, but part of me wants to do it just like for my channel. <laughs> anyway, um, so let me pull this. All right, and I think we are good here. The next drawer is eyeshadow palettes, which I don't think I'm really gonna be picking or shopping my stash for one. So let me go ahead and put all the makeup back into my everyday makeup basket, pick an eyeshadow palette, and then we'll be back for the final reveal. 
All right, so we're here in my recently put together makeup basket. The one eyeshadow palette I decided to choose was the Alter Ego Goddess palette. I specifically wanted to bring out like these shimmers to use with my pen that palette. I think it'll look really, really nice. And I really just want to play with some of these shimmers. So we're going to put that in. And let's review the basket. So I've put the lipsticks, the bullet lipsticks we chose up here. We've got our mascara, we've got our liners. I have the brow soap from AOA Studio I wanna test out up here, along with my glitter glue. And that's it for up here, so let's get into the first drawer. In the first drawer, I forgot we already had two foundations in here, so we're a little foundation heavy this month, but it's fun. It'll be fun to test out all of these. So we have the Pretty Natural Essence Foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me, the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer, the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1, and then the Milk Sunshine Skin Tint. Uh, for concealers, we have the Instant Age Rewind and the Pat McGrath. Um, for eye primer, I'm trying to finish up this Lorox. We can go ahead and move on to something else next month. I've got my two matte powders up here. I've got my little poof poofs and my a loose powder because I forgot it can actually fit up here. The reason I moved it down to the bottom drawer is because the Laura Mercier wouldn't fit. So now that that fits, it can go right up there. And then we've got the putty primer and the sample of the Guerlain primer. In drawer number two, we just have the brow pomade, technically cream shadow that I'm using for my brows, my Lila palette, my Pan That palette, the Goddess Alter Ego palette, and the ABH Norvina palette. In this drawer, we have all of the AOA Studio Shop Miss A eyeshadow palettes that I'll be testing, the Smashbox palette, and then I actually uh, kind of swapped some things around and I made this Z palette my kind of face palette for the month. We've got the Black Shadow, the Tarte Blush, the Kevin Aquan Contour, the Balm Mary Luminizer Highlighter, and for the life of me, I do not know what bronzer this is, but I do know it's a bronzer. <laughs> And then I um, opened up all the putty products from e.l.f. So we have the putty bronzer and then two of the putty blushes. And last but not least, we have the bottom drawer. I have the products from my Petty Project Pan right here. I've got some zoom in mirrors that I like to keep down here. And then I have the ABH Norvina lashes that I got in PR through Influencer. So that is it for August. I am excited to be one month closer to summer being over, one month closer to spooky season, one month closer to the fall. Um, and I'm excited. I have a lot of new products. I'm excited about being able to finally declutter my collection, which is going to be the next few videos you guys will see on the channel. So make sure you subscribe and you hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I post those videos. They'll be going up my usual schedule Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And that's it. Let me know down below what you're going to be using for August, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Rex, you want to say bye too? Say bye to everyone. Say bye. No? <laughs> Why do you look so concerned? Okay, bye.